Mike, it's really great to be with you today. And I Thanks, wanted Mark. to ask you, um, what it really hit home for you that collectively we needed to do more for youth and their mental health needs in Alberta? Well, we definitely need to do more for mental health for kids and, and youth. Uh, but for me, it wasn't just one story. Um, you know, in the time that I've spent in learning about this, uh, I see kids who have genetic disorders or they have a learning disability or they uh, have gone through some sort of trauma or they're suffering silently as, as things are weighing down on them. So it's not just one story. I think for us, we need to change the story. I think we need to change how we think about it, how we talk about it, and how we deliver it, and ultimately improve the access to care that we give uh, for kids in this province. We know that uh, when we surveyed our donors, 92% of them said mental health is a priority, and at the end of the day, we have a vision that says we want to give kids the best chance of a long and healthy life. Uh, and that means kids in our backyard, not just in Edmonton. So uh, for us, this is a really great investment and this is something we, we truly believe in. Mike, earlier this year, your foundation pledged $26 million to a new Stollery Mental Health Center, which in and of itself is a phenomenal commitment. Talk a little bit about why you decided to make an additional $5 million investment to help support integrated youth services in Alberta and how that fits with some of the foundation's other investments. A great question about why we decided to invest an additional $5 million in integrated youth services. Uh, we believe that physical health and mental health are not separate uh, when it comes to the health of the child. And we know that 70% of all mental health problems begin in childhood and adolescence. And so the Stollery has had a long-term commitment to supporting mental health over the years, whether it's investments in our research, uh, uh, through the Women and Children's Health Research Institute or investments at the Stollery through various programs, uh, through bereavement programs, through pet therapy programs, but also uh, our investment in family-centered care. At the end of the day, I think mental health affects us all and inside all of us is an opportunity to make a difference, uh, not just here in Edmonton, but for kids in backyards all across Alberta. Mike, the Stellar Children's Hospital Foundation has many different partnerships. Why was it important for you to partner with us, the Mental Health Foundation? At the Stollery, we recognize that there is a lot of expertise around children's health, and not any one particular foundation can carry the freight for the entire community. Um, but we also know that partnerships are incredibly important for transforming and changing the way that we do things. And so we wanted to work with experts in the mental health realm, and that is why we wanted to work with the Mental Health Foundation, is because we've invested a lot of time and energy in getting to know the system, getting to know the people who are going to be able to influence change, and ultimately how we can make change uh, together. Uh, Mark, this uh, project is both personal to you and your family, but also personal to many families all across this province. Can you share with me what the Foundation's gift is going to do to make a difference, not only for today, but for generations to come? You know, that's a great question, Mike. And first of all, this is the largest gift our Foundation has ever received in our history. So that's a, that's a really big deal. It's also a signal to us um, that mental health matters. And, you know, for me personally, having two young children myself, um, knowing that we'll be able to provide integrated services for young people when they need it around addiction, mental health, and social services is going to help transform the way we deliver mental health care services for young people in this province. Integrated youth hubs are focused on prevention, early intervention, working to reduce stigma. It's about working to have more seamless transitions from youth at the age of 18, because we've heard, some, heard from so many families and young people that at the age of 18, traditional health care, they become adults. And their pathways to care become much more convoluted and their services tend to fall off a cliff. What we would like to see around integrated youth services is more seamless transitions to care for young people because we know that at 18 years old, you know, you may technically be an adult in the healthcare right. system, but you're still a young people in the eyes of parents, moms, dads, uncles, aunties, caregivers, and so we want to make uh, 
pathways to care much more seamless for young people in Alberta. Can you talk a little bit about the kids that are going to be served? Are they are they only from Edmonton or are they from other places? Tell, tell me a little bit more yeah. about that. And you know, integrated youth hubs, we'd like to see them across the province in urban settings, in rural settings, in um, indigenous communities, and really what we're trying to do is serve vulnerable populations as well, so the LGBT communities, um, like I said, indigenous communities, and homeless populations as well, so we're really capturing those that are in the most need in the province of Alberta. Mark, tell me what is an integrated youth service? So an integrated youth service is actually a hub, a physical location where a youth can walk in and receive access not only to mental health care services, but it could be social services, it could be they just need a job, it could be a family member needs to find out where to go for a particular concern a youth may have. Uh, we know that young people are struggling and they have a lot of different issues and concerns. Integrated youth hubs intend to address the majority of those concerns in a in a, in a physical location in a timely and coordinated way. Uh, Mark, the Mental Health Foundation's primary mandate is around mental health. Can you describe how this partnership collectively uh, serves this community? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, mental health is such a complex issue and it's going to take more than just one organization to help tackle it. And so that's why I'm so excited about the partnership we have with the Stollery Children's Hospital Foundation. And it's really about supporting a continuum of care, and that's the way I see it. You know, through the Integrated Youth Service Initiative, we'll be providing immediate uh, access to care for young people, focused on prevention, early intervention, stigma reduction. And you know, once your Stollery Mental Health Center opens, um, we'll be very proud to say we have a world-class mental health care facility for young people providing specialized services for those in need. Well, I have to say, uh, we're really excited about the partnership. We're excited about how foundations are coming together uh, with our government partners and with the community to, to tackle this big, big issue together. And we couldn't be more proud of, uh, of working with you. Likewise. And for us, um, this isn't about business as usual. It's about doing things differently because we need to do something different so that we can provide young people the care they deserve. So thank you. You're welcome. Really excited about everything. Thanks.